All right, just making a quick video. This is actually a viewer requested video on this Energizer uh, PPS 320W1. This is actually a UK model. I believe it's only sold in the UK with a, with a UK socket. But, um, you know, it, it is kind of an interesting little product because it, it's, got, it's got this really small form factor. And we'll talk about more of the specs here in a second. But it's, it's basically got all the, the kind of specs that you would want and all the kind of things that I typically look for in these power stations, right? And it does have LFP battery as well. So it's about, you know, as the name suggests, it's about 300. And it's not a quite 320 watt hours. It's actually 307 watt hours. And, um, and yeah, so let's just kind of jump in and take a look at the design here real quick. So first thing that I see right off the bat is, you know, they don't actually specify this, but I'm, I'm pretty confident that this is actually an uh, aluminum body on here, the silver port, the silver part in the center there. And, um, and the reason I kind of really like to see aluminum on these things is because this will actually help transfer the, the heat that's going to be like um, created inside this unit to the surrounding environment, which is, which is basically the opposite of what plastic does, right? Plastic kind of insulates and kind of keeps the, the heat kind of trapped in there. Now, of course, you know, most of these power stations have like a really good um, uh, ventilation system and, and some large cooling fans that kind of like uh, minimize that, that uh, effect with, with plastic bodied units. But, um, you know, this, it's just always good to have aluminum plus a fan, right? And that's kind of what, um, that's kind of what this unit does have. As you see here on the back, it's just a little fan there. And then um, in this image here, you can actually see on the side here, there's, there's just a little bit of an inlet there to um, bring some, some cool air in and then have it exhaust out the back, right? So just, you know, this is obviously a good design for like um, thermal management and stuff like that. So I would expect all the components in this thing to, um, to pretty much last, you know, quite a, quite a while because you're, you know, you're not going to be overheating anything in there basically. Now with the design, as you see, we, we basically have, you know, everything at either the, the front or the back of the unit. And um, on front, we do have all the switches. We have some USB outputs and we do get a, a PD uh, 60 watt as well. So, um, you know, it's not 100 watt, but still, you know, 60 watt, you can do a lot with that, right? And then um, we do get the, the switches and we do get a nice little light on there as well. So, um, and this is good because, you know, even though I'm not a big fan of having lights on the front of these units, because it's such a large um, area, you know, it's, it's less, it's just less likely to blind you, right? And, uh, and then we do get a, a nice, you know, basic, it gives you all the information you need, right? It's got the actual percentage and a little uh, icon there and basically all, whatever features you have, you know, kind of whatever ones you're using, it kind of shows you there as well. Now the, um, the, the input and the outputs, we, we got to talk about this a little bit. Um, we do get kind of these, these barrel jacks for the 12 volt outlets. So this doesn't have, you know, uh, an actual like uh, car socket adapter on it, but um, you can get adapters for these things. So like here's a brand I just kind of found real quick doing a, doing a quick search on Amazon where basically, you know, it'll, uh, you know, you plug it in here, the, the 5521, and then, you know, it basically gives you, you know, the car socket that you can use and you can plug stuff into. Now, the only thing is they don't actually specify if this is a 5521 um, and this one too. They don't, they don't actually specify. So, you know, maybe it is, maybe it's not. But worst case scenario, you could get something like, like this thing. This is a 38-piece kit. And basically, all of these adapters are designed to work with a 5521. So basically, you can just plug, it, plug any of these adapters into the end here. And it will convert it to, you know, basically whatever, whatever one you want here, right? Um, or, you know, even if, because you might want to pair this thing with like a 100-watt solar panel, right? Well, we're going to talk about the solar specs here more in a second. But um, I think a 100-watt panel would kind of be perfect. And a lot of these um, solar panels actually do give you, as you see here, they do kind of give you um, not as many, you know, not a 38-piece kit, but they probably do give you one that, that will be more likely to, um, to include one of those that will work with this thing, right? And in fact, you might, you might need to use one of these connectors for the input as well, because again, they don't specify... They don't specify what that input is. So it does have an MPPT, but it's only limited to 64 watts and it's like uh, 24 volts or something like that. So basically what you would want, basically the only thing you could really do with this, with this unit is like a, a standard 100 watt panel or a 60 watt panel. And, and it has to be at the standard voltage range, which is about 18 volts because you can't go over 24 volts. 
Now you can always go over wattage, right? So don't, you know, you don't have to look at the 64 watts. You can always put more wattage into it. It'll just limit it to 64 watts. Like you'll never get more than 64 watts coming in here. But that's why I kind of say go with a 100 watt panel because then, you know, you'll, you'll make sure you get those 64 watts pretty much all the time, right? If you go with a 60 watt panel, that thing might only actually put out like, you know, 40, maybe 45 watts, you see? So, yeah, go with a 100 watt panel. And then, like I said, too, you can get one of those that has that adapter um, because, you know, again, we don't know what, you know, which size, which size adapter is this thing using? We don't know. And then again, we just get that, that one outlet on there that, that is a UK socket. And um, this is, you know, 220 volt and 300 watt. Um, and it is pure sine wave. So this is good stuff. So this isn't, you know, it, it does kind of seem like a little bit more of a budget unit. But you know, basically this has, all, like I said, all the features I kind of look for in a power station, this thing has it. And this LFP battery is running at 12.8 uh, volts. So even if those DC outlets aren't regulated, um, you know, with LFP batteries, they don't, you know, the voltage doesn't drop as much as the, the charge of the battery goes down. So I'm kind of, kind of guessing more on a budget unit like this that it's probably not regulated, but you don't necessarily really need that, right? That, that's still going to stay around 12 volts even as the battery um, starts to, you know, as you start to drain it down. So yeah, kind of an interesting unit. You know, it's obviously kind of a, just a more of a simple design, a, more of a budget unit. But it, like I said, it's got all the, got all the, the specs and kind of features I, I would want to look for in these power stations. And this form factor could be quite nice as well, right? This kind of like, like real low, long, and wide. You know, this is something that you could probably throw into a bag or if you're just, you know, limited in space in general. You know, this is this is kind of um, will be kind of a nice size to have. Right. So, yeah. So hopefully you just kind of uh, found this little quick overview helpful or interesting. And yeah, thanks for watching.